Hello, Adam. Hey, JJ. How you doing, sir? I'm very good, thanks. How you doing? Uh, you know, it could be better, could be worse. It's uh, what day? Today is Thursday, not Tuesday. So this is a little weird. Got to admit. Indeed. Maybe yeah. it's a special occasion. It's going to be a great scream. There you go. I like I like your attitude. That's good. Good stuff. That's good stuff. Um, but yes, hi. Uh, I'm JJ Asgar. I'm a developer advocate for the IBM Cloud, uh, CD ambassador now. And who are you? Yep, Adam Roberts. I'm also a CDF ambassador. I work on IBM projects of various kinds, mostly with OpenShift and Kubernetes at the moment. It used to be a lot of Tekton. And we've got an interesting screen for you, I think, today. It's going to be our first time trying Screwdriver. Could yeah. be great. Could be, <laughs> you know, troublesome. We've never touched it before in our lives, but sounds pretty cool. So I'm ready to give that a try. Wonderful. Yep, that's, uh, that's kind of where we're going. Um, we, we're only going to stream for a little bit of time, uh, just so that we can kind of make sure, see how far we can get. Um, mm -hmm. But let me go ahead and uh, switch over to my screen here. Uh, there we go. And um, this is Screwdriver. So um, TLDR, wh what is Screwdriver? <laughs> well, TLDR is that sentence just below you. It's an open source bird platform designed for CD. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So why Screwdriver? Those cool things. Free, you can try your own cluster. So I think it will actually give us a cluster, perhaps. Um, it's not tied to a con compute platform. RESTful, fully docked API, and it uses all those cool things. You can mm -hmm. see the Kubernetes logo there. You can see GitHub. Um, I can't say I'm an expert on everything, but I really want to try this because I think it's being touted as being a CDF project or an incubating project. Um, mm -hmm. It's using some cool things under the covers. So I think because the dive right in. I, I like what they've done. They've given us a, you know, one command to do. And if you mm -hmm. go there first on um, your web browser, you can see what it's doing. It basically pulls in an image. I think it's a Docker socket. It's maybe difficult on OpenShift, but we're not on OpenShift at the moment. And it does a bunch of things. Um, and it asks you for a bunch of things as well. So in my mind, I'm thinking, a little bit like when you install Jenkins X for the first time. It's like, oh, should I use Git? This has got some prompts for using GitHub, GitLab, and Bitbucket. Mm -hmm. Now I was thinking about something similar to that one. Nice. Nice. Okay. Um, so so if you want to try this on our machine here, we can. I'm ready. Yep. Um, yep. and okay. then so I'm gonna do that big old command. Sure. Go ahead, JJ. I was going to say, uh, if this, if for whatever reason, if this doesn't work on our look, the VM that we're sharing on the cloud, um, we can always try to put this in the actual Kubernetes cluster, which I have a feeling might be a little bit more labor intensive. But we did discover mm -hmm. a, um, oh, <laughs> whoopsie. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we, go into, should we go and get it? Yeah. Um, it seems to be a requirement. Is, is, is that, hang on, let me um, go into the. What are running on? So you yeah, I think I can just do a DNF install of this. Hang on. I purposely don't allow a sudo on this because you know mm -hmm. it's on the internet. Um, yep. All right, see here. Just thinking about it. I've been trying to uh, convert over to CentOS 8 for my machines, but I think I, re I chose CentOS 7 for this one because mm -hmm. I wanted to use Docker specifically and I didn't want to have to deal with the, uh, what is it, the V2 C groups and Podman and all that jazz. Yep. So so I, I kind of stuck there, but I know that's I know that's bad form and you can you can reprimand me later if you want. Adam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll do. And then next stream. There you go. Here we go, and it looks like it's done. Okay, try it again. Okay, so we've established that we need a few things. For example, Python, internet connection, Docker Compose. Thank mm -hmm. you. So which session, ah, oh, I want to use GitHub today. Right, what's this? So create a new OAuth application on github.com. Go to this URL to start the process. Oh, this is a little, hmm. 
Yeah, it's, it's, that's not great. That's not a real IP. Less, <laughs> well, it's less. It's not less nice than Jenkins X, I think, so far. So I'm basically going to my public GitHub, folks. Uh, I don't know what to share this yet. I've already got a repo name, Screwdriver Test. Let me call this Adam Screwdriver on its own. Um, in fact, I might share my screen with you all, actually. This might take a while, you see. Yep. So let me flip over to Zoom, and let me go to Share Screen, and do that, and then choose my desktop. Hopefully, you can all see GitHub. What can you see? Uh, go ahead and try sharing again. Uh, I think up. I'm sharing. You see this? Uh, no. No? No. Uh, I think you do. I think you see everything. Let me do it again. Share screen, desktop, double click, bam. How's there we this? go. Merge. Now we're in business. Okay, mm -hmm. so what it says was to, get my console up, make a new GitHub application. So I've got all this stuff to do is like uh, prep works. So I've gone to this URL and I'm going to call it Adam Screwdriver. And the URL is. Uh, the URL is that, and then the authorization URL, 10 dot, is this going to work? What's this? No, no. Yeah, these are fake IPs. Call back okay. URL to the next one. There we go. So I don't know if the, this shouldn't, this shouldn't work. <laughs> it shouldn't work. That's why I didn't click register application. So it makes it, but made it be useful. Um, and now what? When the client, the client IP. So, ID. ID. Up top. Top. Client ID, yep. yep. So they've got the client ID. Client secret. Ooh, I need a client secret. Well, you've not told me to make one, so I'm going to go ahead and make one. So generate a new client secret. Uh, it's going to be, uh, oh, no one can see this, which is good. Uh, blah, 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 and I've got a very good password. <laughs> okay, let's do that one. Okay, so now client secret. Let me just copy a new secret now. Okay, bam, I've copied the client secret. And now it says, secret, right, secret. And then it says to do this. Just run the following commands to get started. Docker compose, pull. Docker compose, pull. But if you look at the last line, it says to go ahead and do it for you. Yep, so it's gonna pull and then do a port for and then open something. Okay. This is quite so probably, quick. Yeah, we're going to probably have to set up ngrok or something again to forward to this that um, URL, mm. right? So we can actually get to it because this is on a remote machine and we don't have yeah. access to it. At least I'm thinking that might be the best way to do it, but I'm open to suggestions. Mm -hmm. I wonder what it's going to try and do, though. Like, do I get to use webhooks or what? But yeah, you're right. If the application URL is there, I need to interact with it somehow. Unless it doesn't set stuff for me, that would be a little bit weird because whose account would it use for Ngrok? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we're pulling screwdriver cd slash screwdriver. Uh, I guess we could actually cheat. We could actually look at the this URL and we can kind of see what it's doing. There's probably a Docker pull in here somewhere. Um, so I think, okay, there we go. So we're at this stage. We're running the following commands to get started. I think. Yep. And would you like to run them now? I've clicked yes. It's just doing all this for us. If it's Y, we sanitize the input. And then it says, oh, can I try to open something? Uh, the IP address and the port. Then it will say launched, otherwise skipping. Yep. Let me get some handy commands. We get a little love heart. Uh, so, okay, this could be interesting. Triggering builds. It does not support webhooks out of the box. That's odd. Okay. This seems really weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I've got the love heart. I uh, couldn't get a file script to go into the console. That makes sense. So it, that's fine. Is that, yeah, that's, that's this command, I'm guessing. Uh, okay, so now what do I do? I can I could compose minus p with that. If that changes, do this. Uh, 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 where's the hello world? If I go to screwdriver, I go to the guide next. Let's see what this tells us. So, user guide. Okay, 
I've not got it installed, I think. Uh, let's see. It says Falcon Coin a sample repository and CD into it. This feels like, like Jenkins X, by the way, mm. um, but without the webhook bit. So it says I can do a Git clone, username, quick start generic. Uh, I don't think I need to give it a Ooh, username. Good God. I clicked on that um, create your own cluster. Oh, yeah. Uh, just to kind of flip through the instructions. And yep. uh, wow, this is, first of all, very, very AWS centric. I mean, actually, oh, it teaches really? you how to set up a DB instance, but you're required to set up a DB instance of Postgres um, mm -hmm. on AWS. Um, and this is this is pretty intense. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Well, I've I've done goofed because <clears throat> we're going to sample repo into your environment. We'll cover the generic one. So I've I've made a mistake here. I need to actually fork quick start generic. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's four four years ago. Okay, four wow. years ago. Four years. Did we even have Kubernetes four years ago? Oh, that's a that's a joke. Yeah, a joke. it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe only had like deployments and pods. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> everything was a node port. Everything was a node port. <laughs> yeah, everything. So okay, so I've got that repo. It says to clone the repo. So let's do that. And then let's go back to the guide. Uh, not that, that's, that's me and you. Uh, not that, that screwdriver. Uh, go back here maybe. And then here again. So this will be a little quick project, a little starter one. Then CD into it. Right, here we are. Mm -hmm. that nice and big. So I think I got the test projects. Make files, okay, don't really need to know that at the moment. Now we've set it up, we can start developing. How to run a make file and bash script in your screwdriver build. So have I got, I've got a make file, I do, and I've got a script. Excellent. So the YAML is the conf configuration that we need. Mm -hmm. In it, you will define all the steps needed for develop. Okay, excellent. Well, let's see uh, what is in the YAML. What have you got for me? Uh, Okay, remember I can't scroll here, JJ, but I'm gonna do a pipe press. So from the top, shared definition block, shared That's image, a, lot of comments. a build pack, jobs, main. Jobs are defined by name. All pipelines, we have to detect from pipelines, mm. are implicitly defined. Our tectons have only been around for two and a bit years though, so I'm not sure. It might be a Jenkins pipeline. Uh, steps and then a second job so maybe your first job is build and your second job is test or mm -hmm. deploy if you're feeling brave so mm -hmm. that's that file that we've got there shared is where you define attributes or jobs will inherit so if they all want to use the same image you put it in the shared makes sense this looks like a Hmm. It reminds me of Jenkins pipeline. The way this is laid out reminds me of something. Hang on, hang on. Don't don't move that. Go scroll back up for me. Dash R yeah. library. Those build packs sound familiar. Build pack depths. Isn't that being deprecated? Build Let's packs? go there. Let's yeah, so it's what I was just looking at myself. Build pack. It's a Docker community thing. Wow. Pretty. Oh, okay. There we go. What is a build pack depth? It's the, it's the first line right there. That's the reason why. It's the um, stack, Heroku stack images. So if I remember correctly, um, build packs, this is a Canico thing, right? Um, this is not used. This, was used at some point inside of OpenShift. I think S2I comes from this, maybe. But oh, they're really? moving, but they're moving away from this. I think. Um, that's why, I th or maybe I'm crossing some wires. But this this felt this feels like this isn't here for long, which I think is odd. Anyway, sorry. Keep going. Okay, well, it seems like we're going to be using that, I think. 
Well, that's just our example at least. And then there's a job section and there's a workflow section. And there's a step section. Um, I actually don't really want to read all of this. I want to just use it at the moment. So Slow something down. about steps, which sounds a bit tectonic like at this point. Right there. That's what I'm looking for. Export, export the greeting, echo the greeting. And it looks like you declare hello. That's, oh, yeah. that, that seems a little weird. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, that's the step called hello. Oh, is this the de declaration of it? This is declaring a step called hello. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's a one command step for export, one command for hello. And then at the end, it sets the metadata. Second job kicks in, declare make target, which is make greetings, get metadata, and then run. Run arbitrary script is a really weird thing to yeah. declare. That's just their arbitrary name, isn't it? Yeah. Or is it? Well, no, well, I think the only way we can find out is if we try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay so it says screwdriver UI to build and deploy an app. Building of screwdriver. And to log into screwdriver using GitHub, set up your pipeline and start a build. So create a new pipeline. Click on the create icon. All right, so log in with. Oh, 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 oh hang on. So I've got to give screwdriver access to my repos. And then you enter your repo link. And this is, um, yes, I see. So, oh, I don't want to show you that. Mm -hmm. So, oh. I go back to my little application. There we go. So we're back on my little application. Right. So I own this application. And what for this URL? It won't work, will it? No. Because why would it? I mean, what the heck, what's this IP? It's nothing. That's, uh, I'm actually in the process of getting ngrok set up in the background. Yeah, I think we have to do that because there's nothing. I mean, duh, if I do a ping on that, there's nothing. Oh, that's you. Hello. Mm -hmm. It's all good. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you want mm -hmm. to tell the screen share, JJ, in the meantime? Oh, uh, no, no, it's fine. This isn't really important. Um, The port was what, 9,000? 9, yep. Yep, that's right. Port 9000. All right. So if you want to change the home page URL to if you yep. go back to the thing, and you'll see there's a forwarding on there now. Right there. If you want so to I want to use that. this URL. Yep. That's my home page. And the callback is going to be the same thing, but on slash 9001. Oh, I need to hold on. I need to fix that. Um, Maybe I can do ngrok 9001. Oh, you're killing me. Uh, we can all, your account, JJ Asgard, is going to one simultaneous ngrok client session. Ugh. Oh. Um, let's see if I can figure out a way to give myself more. Give me a second. Am I just about to pay for ngrok? No, you know. I should say, is IBM about to pay for Ingrock? <laughs> no, I don't think we are. I don't think we have to do any of this. But we have to get an IP. Could not use the IBM Cloud Ingress. Uh, we'd have to manipulate some stuff around to make that happen. Uh, give me a second to think. Okay. Uh, oh, and it seems that the five dollar a month still only allows you to have one online process. The eight twenty five allows you to have two. But you want to have the just one process, then we just this and got one. Yeah. Well, my thought is is um, we need to get to we need to get to port nine thousand and nine thousand mm -hmm. one. It seems right. Mm -hmm. 
and we'd have to change we'd have to do no well this isn't a kubernetes cluster this is a machine right where we would have to do some routing to get from our external ip to port 9001 well, Right. Hello, I exist. Can I just not make an Angular one that uses nine thousand and one? No, that's what happens at the bottom right there. Yeah, but that's you. Ah, you don't have to talk to each other, though, will they? If I have an Angular set up and I do the yeah. port forwarding, how would I be able to talk to yours on nine yep. thousand? Yep. Otherwise, it'd all be too open, right? Everyone could just ping each exactly. other and got QRLs. Exactly. Well, what we got, yeah, yeah. What we got at the moment? What we got? Have we got anything? So if I do Docker images, okay, I got screwdriver. I got for Docker PS. Uh, I have a screwdriver running. Can I do something a little bit crazy? Can I? Uh, what if I? Out of there and just do Docker PS and do Docker exec minus IT mm -hmm. on. Okay, so I think I'm now inside of Screwdriver and it looks to me like it's not an old JS application. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> I wonder what I can do mm -hmm. <laughs> without a UI. Oh, I really want the UI. Well, okay, if you go back, hold on, uh, control D out of these two. Yeah. You go back to that Docker PS. Yeah, yeah, we will do. Okay, so if we see there, we have all ports listening to 9001, which is pointing to 80 on screwdriver stable. Store is 9002, port 80 on store stable, and UI is 9080. So in theory... Yeah. Um, we could hit the external IP of this box on port 9000 because it's, f uh, do we have any weird firewalls going on right now? Check, uh, do firewall or syscuttle, uh, or sorry, sys system CTL, sorry, system CTL, not sysctl. Yeah, almost. There we go. Um, doing a uh, queue out of this uh, firewall D, or status firewall D. Okay. Oh, sorry. Here, here. Can we do it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was going to do IP tables, IF config, and all that jazz. We're, we're, we're about to get there. Firewall status. I always do this wrong. Oh, it's a service, isn't it? It's a service yep. running on. Right. It's dead. Okay, so in, in theory, in theory, curl pmux.asgarlabs.io port 9000. There it is. There's the HTML 11. page. Yeah, it's actually already Let's go here. there. Yeah. So I can undo all of this. And if what's the URL that I use? Uh, tmux.asgarlabs.io. Have that? Yep. And that should be also the same at the bottom now. And you should be able to go to that port, that homepage URL now too. Oh, imagine, imagine that. That'd be fantastic. If I if I've got my if I've got my networking right here. Okay. So we should be able to see something there. Anyone should be able to. Hey. All right, we're getting somewhere. Yay. <laughs> uh so eh? that's annoying. Hello. Uh, Let's get the inspector up. What is? Um. What the uh, hell does that mean? Uh, maybe it's just the wrong thing. What does the What does the guide say? Does it say it's got to nine thousand, nine thousand and one? I'm gonna authorized. It could be anything. So getting started, developing the app. There's the YAML. Cool. Uh, where's the UI section again? Interface. Is it under setup? Is it under requirements? 
Yeah, nothing uh, like it loads, golden. but it doesn't actually show up anything. Uh, if you hit nine thousand one, you get a you get an error four hundred four. There's a slash oh, yeah. login oh, page. Uh, that's me and you. Oh, oh, Hello. hold on. I think you just showed up. Nope, that didn't. <laughs> Oh, what's going oh. on? So it shows up <laughs> briefly. Go to, go to slash login. Um, uh, nine thousand. Yep. Give it a second, and it shows up just briefly, and then vanishes. Now is it so in my configuration? There you oh, go, hello. right there. Did that actually work? Like mine, mine didn't stick it. around. Yeah, mine didn't stick yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, you're just uh, not lucky today. <laughs> You're not the lucky one. So it seems. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure it's a useful page. <laughs> <laughs> um, what does that even mean? So if I... What, hmm. I think it, I must have done goofed. If I go back to my OAuth settings, this, does this URL look correct to you, JJ? Yeah. yeah. And does this? Yes. And does this? Well, I mean, description. <laughs> go to that URL, that, that callback URL at the bottom. Go to that yeah, one. Okay. See what happens there. Yeah, you may just get a cookie from here first. Oh, nothing. Nothing. OK. Uh, it's still running though. Mine's coming up now. Is it? Yeah. Coming up. So we must have missed some some configuration somewhere. Um, where was the M one here? Docker compose. Oh, here we go. Oh, we found Adam. something. Uh, oh wait, no, no. Wait, yes. Hi. Yes. Hey, hey. Can what for missed? Yeah, bring up the terminal. Okie doke. I'm pretty sure it's this problem right here, right? Ah, uh, is that URL? Well, yeah. It was prompting us for things. Yes. So we could either go around the cycle again or edit them here in the YAML. Because it says in the old IP, not our new Engrok IP. Oh, well, not, 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 remember, not even in Grok. It's um, we're just going directly to the machine, right? Yes. Yes. All right. So then we can do Docker compose. I'm looking forward to this. I want to click on the little pipe point button. It'll be great. Bring everything down. Mm -hmm. And then bring everything back up. All right, we're actually seeing things happen now. Yep, there we go. It's actually an web server. Look at that bottom one. It's actually yeah, saying yeah. it's there, getting there. I'm nine thousand and one at the moment. I'm nine thousand and two. Where's nine thousand normal? Okay, I, um, I'm going in. I'm going in. Let me refresh this just for a bit of fun. Yep, there we go. That's my response, I guess. I mean, if I do yeah. it again, do you get a new... There you go. That's me on my Mac. Mm -hmm. Cool. Same with GitHub. Oh, there we yeah. go. Much better. Much better. Uh, right. Now, you want to be able to do all of this and access all these organized... Ah. I give it, give it access to the IBM org. <laughs> yeah. All of IBM. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, how about tech them? Um, there you go. <laughs> I'm giving access to Dr. Open JDK. Well, why is that? I think I'm a maintainer still. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, uh, maybe I'm not a maintainer. Let's let's go back to this. Um, for those that don't know, I was in the first team that built this. Nice. Uh, I did their Jenkins scripts, their pipelines. And I was with George and Joe, great guys, and Tim, and we got it all working. And I was a maintainer, and I had a farm. Also, I don't think I'm a maintainer now anymore. I think I've been 
eliminated because I'm no longer working on it. I'm just a, a role remember. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. I didn't want to accidentally give access to everything mm-hmm. ever. Mm-hmm. So now we can go back to that little login window, which is which is uh, over here. Nope, over here. Nope, over. Nope, that's me again. Over here. Where, where's it gone, JJ? It's a, it's a, it's a pop up. It's that authorized application one. You mean that one. here? Okay, go on then. Um, everyone can see what I'm doing. It looks okay. If it's not okay, it will be removed instantly. Let's see what this does. It's all my public GitHub, not my IBM GitHub as well. And uh, in the logs, I see uh, GitHub A Roberts has logged in via OAuth. So it looks yeah, like it actually has done. You don't my token though, do you? No. Okay. So um, you should to refresh that page now. Yeah. There we go. Oh, excellent. There we go. I, I told the screwdriver, folks. You're probably watching this thinking, what a, what a clown. <laughs> well, now it's resolved. And I've got this nice little UI. So I haven't created a pipeline yet. That is a good point. What's this? Slack channel. Okay, that's good. GitHub. I like this. This is handy. Uh, my pipelines. Blog. What's in the blog? Let's go here. Improvements and fixes, always welcome. Uh, when was that published? I already found a PR uh, I can put in. Have you? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, that was kind of recent. That was November 9th, 2020. Good. So still being maintained. Um, let's go back to the guide now. Steps. Building with screwdriver. Create, okay, create login, enter the repo URL with your branch name immediately afterwards. Or if no default is provided, it just uses, sorry, if you don't give it a branch name, it'll just build the main branch, I guess, of a default branch. Fine, create pipeline. Wait, wait, aren't you supposed to be doing that um, forked repo? Ah, uh, yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna point it to it. So oh, got it, got it, got it. That repo, it's not Adam Cool, believe it or not. It's <laughs> a Robert slash repos, and my little screwdriver sample. Oh, I'm sure I forked it earlier. If I go to screwdriver CD Quick Start. Yeah, I'm sure I've already thought of this. A Roberts Quick Start Generic. Ah, but it's in this weird organization. Wait, what? Okay, weird. I'm just going to use this URL. So we go to enter your repo. Um, you want a screwdriver YAML? I think that may be an optional. What is screwdriver.com? Okay. All right, so I've got a pipeline. So I've done the login, I've done the repo. Now you've created a pipeline. Click the start button to start your build. Um, I want my pipeline to just do like, hello. Hello would be, would be good. So oh, what's your, start. What's your uh, GitHub uh, email address? The one you use? Uh, it's, uh, it's that's a good question. That my personal GitHub email address. Whatever is, you get that little icon that that is that one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it could be anything. Who knows? Um, mm. Uh, hey, Robert, my IBM email. Okay, hang on one second. Yep. I'm giving you co author rights here. Okay, okay. Works at uk.abm.com. Cool. Okay. 
Yay. So here's my little pipe point I've made. I just clicked on start. Uh, HTTP, no such image. Screwdriver, CD, launcher, stable. Who is this? That's uh, That was from the very first one. If you go back to that forked repo, Tiffany K is the icon that was on the top. Was it? Mm-hmm. That does make perfect sense. If you look right there, it was, oh shit, where'd it go? There it is. It was, right I'm at the example. Mm -hmm. Cool, so it's telling me what it's building. Um, am I blind? This is three or four years ago. This is 2018. Neither of those are three or four years ago. Well, that's two years ago at most. <laughs> yeah, what somebody's... missed? Yeah, maybe the uh, M time is messed up on the files or something. Or the, the Git. Yeah, yeah. Something yeah. like that is jacked up. Yeah. Okay, well, either way, apparently... I wonder what it's doing. I wonder where this is. Screwdriver CD launch is stable. Like, is this on our, our build system? If I control Seattle Vishka, does it destroy a screwdriver? Uh, yes. Um, but here, give me a second here. Um, what I'll do for you is here we go. There is another yep. terminal for you. So I was gonna do a directly images pipe grep that. Okay, look, I'm going to use pipe grep screwdriver. Screwdriver CD slash launch at the stable. So it is here on the system. Uh, maybe I just need to restart it. So if I do start again. Hmm. Has that has that worked? Okay, so it's still going. There's a little there's a little cog spinning still, which is good. By the way, Adam. Um, yep. Give me two seconds here. Oh, we got some spam in our chat lovely um, oh yeah where, excellent where, where are you there you go go ahead and bring that up bring what up i sent you a, a slack message oh i don't think i can go to my slack i don't know what window that i'm on over there it could be anything oh, okay is it well, something here. dragged up it in zoom uh sure hang on just because i've got IBM juicy things. Oh, mm -hmm. you made an issue. I can see it on my phone. Yeah, that's yeah. that's. I was gonna have you bring that up. sixty-four fix for Slack and GitHub typos. Good. Yes. Where is chat? Where the hell is Zoom? Why do you? Really got off my phone. Why does Zoom hate me so much? I don't know, but this pipeline is apparently working. I think it's worked actually. Commit main second job. And I bet you in that little project, there was a uh, screwdriver.yaml with two steps. So here we go. Job main steps, blah, blah, blah. So if I were to modify this, right? So it's got commit main second job, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's second job in this file. It is. Now, what I can do is, this is for what everyone else does, is copy that, call this one third job, mm -hmm. requires main as well, steps is going to be, um, why don't I just do an echo? So, export hello. What's hello? I just want to do hello. Maybe hello is a built-in. So, 
So one, two indent, it's like in mm -hmm. Kubernetes. is. One, two indent, let's go. We're just gonna do hey Twitch. And add hey Twitch. Let's have this up as well. And then let's edit this file. I mean, commit to master straight mm -hmm. away. And then go over here. Let's see if it's kicked off on its own. Remember, it said by default, it's not on its own. Now, if I start the pipeline, it should say third job. My commit should show up here. There we go. See, add hey Twitch. This is quite nice, actually. I could probably do a pull request and it'll show up over here as well. Nice. I think once you got over the networking hurdle, um, no fault of screwdrivers, this isn't too bad at all. I wonder mm -hmm. what it's using to the covers. You know, if it's yeah. Jenkins, Tekton. It's a good question. That's a good question. Have I got any coupons? No. Um, have I got any weird namespaces? It's like a screwdriver namespace. They might just like a compose. Maybe it's not using cube at all. Uh, if I do a QTTL get all dash dash all namespaces. Oh no, right? this is that's an actual Kubernetes cluster. That's not that's not what the this Docker compose we're running. Right. Okay. So we're not using Kubernetes at all, are we? Correct. We're just oh, using we? everything locally. No, we're not. We're okay. Not. But I imagine this could come work as a Helm chart or an operator. Uh, I'm not sure. By the way, this is actually working. It's got add hey Twitch. It's doing the first step. Oh, I get metrics. I can start from a certain part in the pipeline as well. Yeah, I wonder what the execution engine is. Um, I'm on the same machine as you up there, right? The same terminal. Mm -hmm. I do PSCF pipe grep uh, Java. How about, mm. how about? I'm looking through the ah, documentation. The it must be running that screwdriver. S stable. Stable Docker one, yeah. file. Um, so using the, ah, it's using the build pack, isn't it, that we told it to use. I think this is just all Docker. Okay, this worked. It did second job and third job. Excellent. I wonder why it didn't go main, second, third. It went main, both at the same time. Okay, pull requests. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a new pull request. We're gonna do test two from master. And we're gonna change the YAML again, just to change the little build step. And we're going to edit this. And so, instead of saying okay. hello, according go on, JJ. To doc, according to the docs, um, Screwdriver is the API, the main engine for the CI CD cluster. Um, mm -hmm. Store is the actual artifact repository. And Launcher is a worker component that actually executes the build. You cannot change this image. Um, you can only specify a specific tag to use. Really? OK. Yeah. So you have to use the, wait, which one can you not configure? The build pack or the screwdriver images? Um, it's called launcher. What's that? Uh, entry point for job launching in screwdriver. Uh. Yeah. I'm not seeing launcher. Hmm. Okay. Um. Same. Okay, well, let's see how it handles pull requests. Uh, right, here's quick start generic again. I'm going to create a pull request from the branch test two. And it's going to do, oh, hold on, not into screwdriver, into me, into my own fork. It's going to say, hello, JJ. This is a PR. Yeah. All right, so do that. I'll head over to, to this panel. And I wonder, I think I'm about to refresh this manually. It's going to pick up this. So if I refresh. OK, there you go. There's a PR over here. And I can press stop. Or I can let it do its thing. 
And when I let it thing, uh, where's my, why isn't this up here? Um, hmm. Just said it weird, because I thought, I thought, mm -hmm. this might show up over here. I would, yeah, I would imagine you'd see that PR one instead of the commit one line. Mm. Uh, see, so like, going right back there, back, back. Mm. Yeah, see that PR, I would imagine the PR would show up. Mm. Yes. Well, start. Maybe the start is like start watching all the repos pull requests and then it keeps off the pipeline. I'm not sure. So let's see if this uh, populates that UI. Okay. We have gotten significantly farther than I genuinely thought we would. So that's always a plus. Yep. This is true. Okay. So I've just started the pipeline again, I guess. This is still, this still isn't showing up. Uh, options. Webhooks. That's interesting. Pipeline. Update jobs to find explain correctly. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Very good. I like how they put in the effort to make this like an array of quirky strings and it probably mm -hmm. picks them at random. Good. Um, right. So that's all the options for that. I can remove pipelines, I can manage pipelines. Metrics. So can I see which of my pipelines took the longest on my builds? Probably can. Uh, for a week. Six months, custom date ranges is nice. I like this. And then events. Uh, where's my pull request? Still over here. I click on that. Hey, what's this? It finished. But, ah, okay. Yay. Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. There's like a little breakdown of what happened inside the pipeline. Reminds me of a detector on the dashboard. So it's like mm -hmm. all the steps. It's like it's like Tecton, but without the Tecton, without the mm -hmm. YAML in Kubernetes. Mm -hmm. It's actually like Docker, Docker Compose for Tecton with a nice dashboard, whereas Tecton is Tecton with Tecton with YAML with a nice dashboard. So this is very much reminding me of that at the moment, uh, but with integrations of GitHub all set up. A bit like Jenkins X. Mm -hmm. But Jenkins X is more Kubernetes. Yep. Is this really not use Kubernetes? Is it really yeah. not use Kubernetes? You, you can. You absolutely can read in the docs. Um, okay. They have, they have, but it's it's all very specifically AWS Kubernetes right now. Okay. But you could. You could. Yeah. Uh, give that a good try. Right. Currently, examples for AWS. I see. I see. Because then that, yeah, that would be a really nice fully fledged CI CD environment on Cube. Uh, I, I, I don't mind this at all, actually. It's quite nice. It's, you know, finally easy to use. I've not got infuriated by any screwdriver cause problems. Completely fine. Um, nice. Add to collection. I can create a collection. So if I merge this pull request, uh, what happens? So merge you. Commit merge, go over here. Uh, let's see what happens. So maybe a new event will pop up, or maybe a new pipeline will pop up. So pull requests. Finished two minutes ago. Events. Did it, did it push back onto the PR that it finished? Oh, did it be at the status and GitHub? Uh, no. Oh, verified. There we go. That yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. That's cool. I'll get some view details. Screwdriver, what anything looks good? Oh, this is nice. I like this. And that URL is the pipeline one. And nice. yeah, it's about as earlier. This is good. Well done, Screwdriver folks. I uh, quite like this. And you can all work on your same pipeline at um, the repo that you've all just forked, the, the quick start one. The screwdriver.yaml one. So you go to your person, you go to their. This is the script. And you put all your app code in here. Um, fantastic. Mm. Fan 
Fenrir, oh, fantastic. Well done, Darren. I like this. Um, good. Congratulations. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, now what do I do? That's it, really. <laughs> now you just kind of, yeah, that's it. That's more or less it. Did you say you went through the cluster set up earlier, but it was at AWS? And that's the Kubernetes stuff, right? Yeah, that was all Kubernetes. So this um, is Kube. This is normal Docker. Go ahead. So if you go back to the main page, you'll notice that they also use Nomad. Um, they have Nomad support. If you scroll down. Is right, that right one there. of these icons? That's, that's Bitbucket, yeah. Kube, right there. HashiCore. Oh, HashiCore. Hello, Vault. Yeah, no, no, that's that's Nomad. That's Nomad. Ah, HashiCore Nomad. Okay. Yeah. Um, Already, from what I've seen so far, if I was building a build farm and I was if I was told to use um, screwdriver to do mm-hmm. the CI CD, it, this almost feels like Kubernetes might be a little bit um, what's we're looking for heavy-handed mm-hmm. for this, where um, where using. Um, Nomad might actually be advantageous, but that's another conversation for another time. All right. Well, I think we've uh, we've done well there. I enjoyed using that actually. wasn't too bad at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess next up would be to dig into screwdriver a little more. Maybe try and apply some CI/CD principle. Maybe some dating logic. Running some tests, seeing where the test output goes. Uh, I don't think Kubernetes is worth. Uh, Trouble right now if the documentation is on with Ramazan personally. But we we, we could it, in theory try to spend some time to re-edit. Um, I went ahead and share, turned off the screen share. Um, in theory, we could try to figure out the equivalent of the the database that they're using on um, on AWS and just use our version on a, uh, IBM Cloud. Yeah, but so. um, I have a feeling that's not worth us trying to figure out at this exact moment in time. It'd be kind of a fun little experiment to, to maybe yeah. even push it back upstream. Be like, hey, we figured out how to get this working on IBM Cloud, but that's that's not really we we just like scratched the surface of what we could do with this, which happy path wise, pretty good. Not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I find it easier to use. Um, it was quicker than Jenkins X because I don't think it's as as feature rich. Jenkins X has got many 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 pods and many many. Helm charts and sub charts and many features in the JX CLI is very powerful. This is kind of like a halfway house between just using text on its own um, to build things and um, Jenkins X, but you can use just Docker if you want mm-hmm. or Kubernetes if you want, but it's quite Amazon friendly at the moment. Um, and I don't think it's that neutral. I don't think it would work on Minikube or Docker Desktop. I don't know, but I think that's how I'm seeing it at the moment. And yeah, the, the whole pipeline definition just reminds me of Tecton. It's just mm-hmm. like steps, all that mm-hmm. kind of thing. So it was good. I liked it. Cool. I probably would use it again. Nice. Well, uh, I'll go ahead and, and upload this to our typical channels that we have. And yep. uh, we're not going to be uh, around next week, but the week after, we're planning on streaming again and maybe. If either of us have the ambition to try to figure out something deeper inside of um, uh, Screwdriver, that might be worth it. Or hell, uh, hopefully one of us will, I I know I'm planning on it right now, but we'll see because, you know, holidays next week. Um, Hopefully we can even try to get this running on the IBM Cloud. Maybe we just do like an internal Postgres database or something like that uh, instead of the external one. And just anyway, we have options. We have options, which is great. Cool. All right, you want to say bye? Yep. Bye, everyone. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you next time. It's good fun. Cool. Bye. Cheers. Bye.